If you've got a roof structure, then guttering is a must because council regulations require all your rainwater to be contained. Installing guttering yourself isn't hard. I'll show you how to do it so you can divert the water into the drain or into a holding tank so you can use it later. So I'm going to attach some guttering to my pergola. The first thing I need to do is establish where my low point is. Now I'm going to have my low point on this here because I'm going to tee into the existing house downpipe. So I'm going to have a high point here and I'm going to run a chalk line down to here. Now you need a minimum of 5 millimetres fall per 10 metres of guttering. Now I'm only 5 metres long here, so in theory I only need about 2.5 millimetres fall. The first thing I'm going to do is attach my bracket about 50 millimetres in from the end of the beam. Now I'm just going to keep the top of the bracket there hard to the underside of my roofing. Now I'm using 30 mil stainless steel screws. You want a minimum of four screws in your bracket. Beauty, that's my high point sorted. Now I'm just going to sort out the low point. Now this is my dropper. Before I jump up and screw that to my beam, I just want to attach my end plate here to the back end of it because it's going to be very hard to do later. Now to do that, I'm just using this PVC solvent welding cement. So all I'm going to do is attach our welding cement to the inside of the dropper, applying a liberal amount. And then just pushing our end plate in. Nice. Now we'll just wait for a couple of minutes and that'll be set. Now I'm 223 mil to the bottom of my bracket. So on this side, I'm going to make it 220 mils. That's going to give me three mils of fall. I'm only five meters long here. This line must line up with the bottom of our dropper or expansion outlet. That's it. Rightio, the next thing I have to do is run a chalk line from the bottom of that bracket there to the bottom of our other bracket down the other end. Now I'm going to use the chalk line to mark on our beam the exact location of the bottom of all our brackets. So we're just going to mark out where our brackets go on our string line. We want to be a maximum of 500 millimetres from centre to centre. If you're in an area where there's a lot more rain or it's prone to snow, you want to close it down to about 300 millimetres. Now I'm just about to put my last bracket on. Now we have to be a minimum of 50 millimetres away from our dropper. Now I'm just about ready to put my guttering up. There's a few different profiles you can choose from. I've chosen this one here, it's called Classic. The reason I've chosen that is because one, it pulls in with the villa look and two, it also matches the existing guttering on the house. Now I can't actually buy a length of guttering, the full length of my pergola. So what I'm going to do is put the right hand in into our dropper and I'm going to have my joiner over here. The reason for that is just going to look a lot tidier having the join over here as opposed to right directly above the doorway. So I'm just going to attach my joiner on the end of this spouting while it's down on the ground. Now there's a couple of different types of jointers you can actually get. This is your stock standard jointer and there's also an expansion jointer. Now you only want to put an expansion jointer in if you're going more than 10 metres length. Now I'm only 5 metres so I can just use my nice stock standard one. So once again, I'm just going to use my PVC solvent cement, apply that to the inside of my guttering. So while I'm down on the ground, what I'm going to do is just glue our end cap in on our other piece. Beautiful. So what I'm going to do is just clip the guttering onto the end of these little brackets. So the first thing we do is hook that end on, making sure they're right into our clip. And then all we do, tap it in. 
This dropper or expansion outlet adjusts for thermal movement depending on the temperature at the time of installation, which in this case is about 20 degrees. Beautiful. All I need to do now is measure from my end of my beam up to our jointer. Now, I just want to measure to the centre of my bracket. So I got 2440. 2440. Square that across. Cool, so I'll just clean those dags off the end. Then we'll take this up into position and I'll glue in our jointer and slip this in. Now that my guttering's up, next thing I have to do is connect my dropper into my downpipe over here. So what I've got here is a couple of combination jointers. I'm gonna just slip this one on here. That's just gonna sit there. Next, place the T-section against the downpipe and measure the distance to the jointer and ensure there's a slight fall. And just mark top and bottom. So I need to remove that section of downpipe and I'm gonna use my hacksaw to do that. So I just wanna join these up on the ground and take this whole unit up in one piece. That is my piece angling up. And let's just wedge that on. Cool, so we'll just take that all up in one piece and glue it in. I'm not actually gonna put any glue on our dropper end. I'm just gonna secure that in place with a stainless screw. Lovely, we'll just slide that up. So all I'm gonna do now is just attach the stainless screw into our dropper. Beauty, job done. There we have it. That's how easy it is to install guttering. And get that water going where you want it.